Hi, I'm Kelly. Hi, I'm Kelly. Hi, I'm Kelly. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is where I'll be sharing free video tutorials and interesting wire wrapping techniques. So hit that subscribe button and let me know in the comments below if there's any techniques you would like me to cover. So check out my Etsy shop if you want to see my written tutorials. And thanks everybody. I shall see you there. Hi, I'm Kelly from Kelly Jones Jewelry. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this cute pendant. I've put a list of everything you'll need in the description below, along with all my usual links. We've got Facebook, Instagram and Etsy, where I sell all my written tutorials if anyone is interested in having a nosy at those. To make this pendant you'll need 0.8mm wire which is 20 gauge and I've got three lengths at 8 inches which is 20 centimetres. You'll need 0.315mm weaving wire which is 28 gauge. You need about 100 centimetres. Wire mine onto a bobbin. If you don't have a bobbin don't worry you can just cut lengths as you go. These are just handy for when you're working with a longer wire lengths and they sit down by your side and it saves having all that length of wire flailing about while you're working. There's a Bobby's Bobbin by Beadsmith. What else have I got? So we've got Teardrop Cab. Mine is 18 by 13 roughly. But you can use you can use any size you want really. Just remember to adjust your wire lengths. You'll need longer wire if you've got a bigger stone. I've got a little 4mm bead. And I've got a jump ring. So I've got a triple jump ring. I've just wrapped it around three times and then cut it. And don't forget to buy lock your sharp bits if you do make your own jump rings. So tools, we've got pliers, uh, round nose pliers, cutters, and I've got nylon pliers. Don't worry if you don't have these. I just like having them handy for straightening wires and flattening wheels. So find the centre point of your wire, put your thumb in the centre, and we'll start weaving <clears throat> just to the left of your thumb there. Grace is snoring already. So we'll start with three wraps around the bottom wire. And then we'll go once around the two bottom wires. Come up between those two wires. And we'll go once around the top two wires. And that's our repeat. I think we'll need, need about five repeats of that weave. So we'll go for five. So keep pushing the weave together as you go. So we've done five. I've wrapped around the bottom two and we'll finish it with three wraps around that bottom wire. So remember to keep pushing it together. We'll cut the wire off at both ends. Give it a little pull so it's nice and tight first. And always remember to flatten down those little cut ends. So next we need to bend that weave. We need to bend it to the angle of the point in your stone. So grip it centrally, just to the right of the centre, I think. And then when we bend it, that weave should be quite central. And we need to match that angle up with the angle of your stone. And then holding that stone in place, we're going to bring the wires up around the stone. You can really have to hold the stone down so it doesn't ride up. And try not to let your wires cross over each other at the top. We want a bit of a gap at the top there to add our bead. So when you've got to about like that, we want that kind of size. We're going to bend your top wires up. And 
section and we just want to make sure they haven't crossed over each other we can bend those wires out a little bit more So take your weaving wire, we're just going to add a little bit of support to the sides here because it's I've only got the three wires so it's a little bit flimsy. I'm going to part those top wires out a little bit just so I can get in there. So we're going to do three wraps around the bottom wire. Slide it down. And then we'll do what we did for the bottom. So going around the bottom two, come up between those two, and we'll go around the top two. So we did five for the bottom, didn't we? We could do five here. And then we go wrap around the bottom two and three wraps around the bottom wire. Just gives it that bit of extra strength to that um, holding the frame part. So I want that weave to the side rather than the top. So pull it down a little bit, slide it down a little bit till it's just after that centre bend. And we'll cut the weaving wire at both sides so we can do the same for the other side. Pull on that wire a little bit before you cut it. Turn it over and we'll do the other side. Spreading the wires out a bit so it matches. We need to have the three wraps on the top. Is it going to show you? So we need to have the three wraps on the top so we're matching that weave. We go three wraps around the top wire. And slide that down. And then we'll do the same weave that we did before. We're a bit, we're upside down. So we come up between the bottom two wires. Wrap around the top two, wrap around the bottom two, do the same amount that you did for the other side. So when you've done that weave, cut the ends and um, slide it down so it's kind of the same height as that one. Got a little end that needs pressing down. So that's what we've got so far. So we need to check the stone still fits. It'll be a bit more snug now we've got those weaves there. So we need to just re-squeeze the wires together at the top, making sure we've still got a nice gap there at the top. So next we'll join those wires at the top there. Check your stone out for now. So we'll start with three wraps around the back wire. And slide that down to just below where the wires join. Bring all the wires together. Try and get it in focus. And we'll wrap around the whole thing. Pulling it quite tightly, but don't pull it enough so the wires sort of cross over each other. Going around four times, five, six, seven, eight. So it's all nicely tied in. And then take this back wire, or any wire, and we'll go three times around that. Take this wire, 
and we'll cut that. So pop your stone back in and we'll turn to the back. So looking at the back, you want to just make a gap between the wires here. So I'm pulling that wire a little bit just to make a gap there. And then get your pliers in. And we're going to twist that wire over the back. And we do it to this one as well. Grip, twist, press against the stone. Try and get it in one twist because if you keep going back to adjust it, you'll mark your wire. So try and get the pliers in and confidently give it one big twist to get it in there. And we turn to the front. We'll do the same again. Pull that wire forward a bit. So the back was like your practice one, so now you've got to try and get it tidy as you can because you're on the front now. Grip the bottom of the wire there, wiggle your pliers down, and then twist it forward. I'm holding the wire back. As I'm twisting it forward here, I'm holding the wire back here so it holds it against the stone. We do it on this side as well. Wiggle down to the bottom weave there. Hold it securely. One big twist. And again, I'm holding the wire down here. So it holds it down there. You can see that scoop there. So I'm holding it. If you don't hold it down, the whole thing kind of flies up there. So then press it, just pressing it against the stone. So it's held in from the front and the back. So now we're going to weave across the front two wires. So when I find the front two wires, bring them together and push the others to the sides out the way. So we're going to weave across these two wires. So we bring the wire up from the back. And we're going to go three times around this bottom wire, looking at it side on, and then three times around both wires. So we'll do that 12 times, three wraps around the bottom wire and three wraps around both wires. Please mention me when sharing your finished work online made from my tutorials. I really appreciate all you guys for your support. And um, please don't show images of the back as it gives the design away. And I prefer people came here and watch my video than make it from the pictures they see on Facebook. So I've done 12 repeats of that weave and keep pushing your weave together to keep it all nice and tidy. What we're going to do is we're going to hold in, hold the piece at the bottom here. We're going to bend this weave over to the right at the base. And then we're going to scoop it over to the left. Oh dear. So we've got this loop here. Bent my wire, bringing it around. Bit heavy handed. So as it comes around to here, we're just going to hold that loop and take those wires around. Before we do, stop. <laughs> we haven't put the jumping on. So this triple jumping, there's no way I'm going to undo that. We need to pop it on now. because There's no way it's getting on there later. That's got to go on there. I'm going to cut that weaving wire as well. 
right, hold on. Let's do this in the right order. Let's cut that weaving wire first. Pop it on. And then we're going to take it around. <laughs> Just in the nick of time. So we've got a loop at the top with our crazy big jumping on it and we've got all those wires coming out the sides. So I'm going to finish these wires at the back. And just squeeze them. That was close. So next, looking at these side wires, we've got back wires and front wires. So we're going to take the front wires first. And we're going to scoop it. So I've pushed it down at the base and I'm scooping it up and around. Does that make sense? So we're going this way, scooping it around that way. And the other one, I'm going to do the same. So we take the front one, push it down at the base, and then we're going to scoop it up the other way. So we come up. Well, the, the wire was naturally bending down then, so we've brought it around the other way, so we've gone up. And then we're just going to carefully, I think when you're shaping wires, the slower you do it, the more you've got control over where that wire's going and what it's doing. And when you're trying to match up to the other side, the slower you go, the more you can see if it matches or not. Jumping's really getting in my way. So we've got both wires going down. So then we're going to do the same with these wires that are above and they're going to come through the middle. So we need a little bit of a gap in the middle there. So then the same as we did before, we're going to scoop these over, but with this time we're bringing them above. So we want it to come around above that wire and then slowly position it centrally to come around there like that. We do that with this one. So it's going down, so we're going to change that. We push it down and we scoop it up. And then very slowly pull it around and match it up to the other side. And it's little things like that that really make it, if you can get your symmetry nice, really take your time with your wire shaping. So I think I'm going to tie all these wires together here with a bit of weaving wire so that they don't move because they keep moving. So holding it side on, we'll do a little weave across here just to hold those wires together. So take a short piece of weaving wire about 12 inches long. We'll wrap a few times around one of the inner wires. Slide it down to just to the bottom here. 
and we'll go around those two top wires so we'll go around twice and then we'll bring the wire over to this side and we'll go around these two wires twice and then we'll come back over to that side we'll go around those two wires twice back over to this side around these two wires twice back over to that side and we'll wrap a few times so I'm adding coils to that wire I said about five times and then we're going to bring the wire over to this side now the wire is coming across from the back I'm going to pop my bead on there and you want to wrap around so the wire goes around the back so the bead's positioned right, just trying to find the hole in the bead. So the bead will sit there. So we need to bring the wire underneath. So it sits nice and snug in that space. And then I want these coils from the bead wire to be on that inner wire but matching this side, so they need to be above. So I'm going to post the wire through, coil around that wire, but above, do you know what I mean? So the coils will be here. And it'll match the other side. So I've coiled up the inner side of that wire, just so it matches on the other side. And then I'll cut that weaving wire at the back. And I'll cut that wire at the front as well. So when you've got your bead in, and you're happy with your, wi your wires, Happy with the wire shaping, I was going to say, trying to say, soft skin. So when you've got your bead in, <laughs> so when you've got your bead in and you're happy with your wire shapes, we're going to hold the top here where they all join. I'm going to take those top wires to the back. Tickle myself how wrong I got that then. I had to say that about three times. So we're taking the top wires to the back and we're just going to fold them over that bit and end them behind the bead. So cut them really short because we don't want them to push the bead out of the way and then press them around that bit there. Gracie's trying her best to snore really loud around that piece there. We do that for the other one too. So then these bottom wires, so bring them down, holding them at the front, take them around the side, and this one, bring it down, match it up to the front so it goes to the back at the same height as the other one, the other wire. And then make sure you're happy with those heights before you bend them over at the back. So when you're happy with the shapes on the front of those two lower wires, we're going to bring them across the back. And do keep checking the shapes on the front. And then we're going to bring those wires down, so holding the sides. Gonna scoop them down and out. Just 
so it holds that stone in at the top there. We'll just wrap around those wires to tie them in place. So we'll go three wraps around the one wire, bring it into the middle point, we'll go three wraps around the two, and then three wraps around the single wire, cut those wires off. And then we'll just finish them up around that back wire. So we need a little gap between the wire and the stone there. Cut the wire. And with your round nose wires, we're just going to curl it around that back wire. So one side always goes around a bit nicer than the other. So when you've got it all in place, we squeeze that in around there to cut a little bit off that one. Squeeze them all nice in place around that wire. So that kind of just secures it off at the back. So I'll run and oxidise mine and I'll be right back. So there we have it, finished. I've oxidised mine. If you'd like to oxidise yours or if you'd like help oxidising yours, I did a video on oxidising and aftercare. I'll put a link in the description below. So thanks for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Bye for now. Bye.